Hello, food tubers. Today I have a stunking little recipe for you. It is my family traditional Irish seafood chowder. It is totally heartwarming, comforting, and delicious. This soup was one of my favorite recipes my mom used to make when I was growing up. It is total comfort food and it's a great family little dish. Very easy to make. So it starts off by chopping up some onion to give us a really great base flavor. To start this off, I'm gonna sweat down these onions in a good bit of Irish salted butter. So get that straight into a pot. Nice big hearty pot. This is a kind of soupy, stewy, chowdery thing. So you wanna give something that's unctuous and delicious and comforting and all those wonderful things. So onion goes straight in with all that wonderful butter. Just add a tiny touch of salt in there to bring out the moisture in the onions and it'll give you a wonderful sweetness to those onions. Really special and a great start to the base of this soup. Once that onion is nice and soft, get in some smoked streaky bacon and a little bit of thyme. Now, while that bacon is cooking out, I'm just going to chop up some potatoes. So just peel them up and then chop them into a nice kind of fine dice. Typically, you're looking for waxy potatoes or a potato that's gonna hold its shape when it cooks out in a chowder like this. Now that I have all my potatoes beautifully chopped up, come right over here and check this out because in the bottom of this pan lies the secret of a truly good chowder. All those lovely little brown bits that have kind of caramelized at the base of the pan, that is where all the flavor is gonna come from. So make sure you get that. Once you have it, add in those potatoes straight in on top. Give them a little bit of a stir around, kind of get them excited with the other flavors that are in there. Make them flavor friends. Give them a quick stir and just toss to coat. At this point now, when you have your potatoes covered in all that wonderful flavor and saltiness from the bacon, it's time to cook out the potatoes. So to do that, I have about a liter of fish stock going in here. If you don't want to use fish stock here, you could of course use some vegetable stock and that's a great little alternative. For an extra aromatic dimension, add in a bacon. Bring all that liquid up to the boil and the potatoes are now gonna cook just until they're tender when you pierce them with a fork. So it's about 12 minutes or so. While those potatoes are cooking away, just grab a tiny touch of sea salt and black pepper and season it up. To give wonderful richness to this soup, once the potatoes are nice and cooked, add some cream in here and turn down the heat and just trickle this through. It turns this very kind of simple little soup into something rich and very indulgent. Now, the fish I'm using today, and it's totally up to you what you use, I'm using some smoked, undyed haddock and it really adds some great, intense, smoky flavour to your chowder. I've also got some cod and some salmon, but it's really up to you whatever fish you want to use in here. So I'm going to start off by adding in my mussels. Give them a quick stir through and then just over the top, get all that wonderful fish in there as well. At this point now, once the fish is in there, don't be tempted to stir it around too much. Just get the lid straight on and let it cook for a few minutes, just until the fish is nice and firm. My fish has had its time to cook, and now it's time for the big seafood chowder reveal. So bring it over, open it up. Look at that steamy, fishy goodness. You've got to try this recipe. This is a real, real winner, and now I can't resist but to jump in there and taste it because it has the most beautiful, smoky smell wafting around the kitchen right now. So, mm. And it totally delivers. Creamy, salty, sweet, and really rich. I want you to give this a go, but if you are looking for the recipe, it is in the box below. There is lots and lots of brilliant recipes right here on FoodTube, so of course, I know you're gonna go and check them out. And of course, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna check out more of my beautiful Irish recipes and also wonderful recipes as well, click subscribe to my channel as well. We'll see you soon, guys.